good? Oh, we're good. We're good. All right. Welcome, everybody. It's the 14th episode of The Rec Room. Today, we have a very special episode. Of course, we got Mr. Joss Massier. We got Mr. Chase Barraza. And Jasmine Strachan. 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 Sorry, Strachan. I knew I was going to fuck it up. Fucked Damn it. it up Stephen Spotch. <laughs> Spotch. Stephen Spotch. Yeah. Um, so, Jasmine, nice to have you on the show here. Thanks. Uh, it's our me. 14th episode. This is the longest podcast we've all been a part of. I think we should get shirts made. <laughs> What, what's the return time on that? Uh, d- don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. Oh. <laughs> I just need your money up front. Talk to you in six months. There you go. Okay. <laughs> so we have uh, Miss Jasmine here. She is the most talented hairstyle artist we've ever been uh, we've ever been introduced to. Jasmine, thank you for coming on. Well, thanks for inviting me. It's been a long time coming. Yes, we've been trying. Well, we had you booked what a few months ago, and you had a bit of an incident at work. No, it was, uh, what was it, July or August, you guys helped me move some bricks? Yes, we did. In With the stipulation, I'd have to visit the podcast. Well, That's, yeah, well, we're kind of selfish that yeah, way. We, we <laughs> had to make sure we got our, our payback. Well, yeah. But but we did have you booked on, and you, you burnt yourself at work, right? Or was it at home? Yeah, were... I, it was a cast iron frying pan. I grabbed the handle like a dummy. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, we've all been there, right? I, I still do that to this day. <laughs> I would imagine that would be kind of detrimental to work. That did you have to take any time off work for that? I did. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah. yeah. I would I'm imagine it'd be kind of a kind of a pain in the butt. You're not coming in really loud on. Oh, the... I'm sorry. Sorry. Right. Right. Soft spoken. I'm not really used to having a microphone. That's yeah. Well, yeah, this well, is this is new to all of us anyway. Yeah, we're still <laughs> we're still very amateur. Exactly. So yeah. how long did the uh, the burn take to heal? You know, not as long as I would have thought. Like, I had a big blister that I thought was going to last a long time, and I had a friend who's a nurse, like, dressing it every day for me, and I managed to keep the blister intact, which everybody thinks you should break a blister, but you should not. I was just going to ask you, like, did you have to burst it, but no? No, you're supposed to keep it on. Mm -hmm. and And not rinse it under cold water. That's a myth. Really? Yep. To rinse it under cold water or to not? You, I was told. I was always told that if you get a good burn on your hand, if you rinse it with cold water, you just that that's going to make the blister grow. No. Hmm. Really? Um, no, the blister is good. It's um, but not no ice. Oh, just okay. Ice. Okay. Cool water. Yeah. Too but much of a temperature change could be detrimental. First thing I do is pop that blister. Yeah, <laughs> no, it, no. Well, there's a reason you're not a nurse or a doctor, I guess. Right? <laughs> That's isn't one isn't, of the numerous reasons why. Don't <laughs> take medical advice from an engineer. <laughs> don't, take don't take any take advice any. from a fucking engineer. <laughs> no, it healed really good, though. Well, you can't good. even tell where it was. Excellent. So Jasmine is a uh, professional in making guys like us look who less, are who are ugly. very ugly less ugly less yeah ugly. way less ugly she's quite good <clears throat> uh, she's, she's definitely done me a few times and it's best haircut i've ever had <laughs> i mean yeah and it's like the full treatment you do like the hot shaves the That's the true. towel everything you and know, it's not the just best a, scalp massage you'll ever get yeah i know you don't know what that's like but Trust me, it's good. Oh, are you kidding me? Everything massages his scalp. <laughs> <laughs> I put a hat on. Exactly. Oh. This this has been going on since I'd say eighteen when the hairline just started to go back. I'm like, you know what? Let's get ahead of it and just <laughs> off to Walmart, grab the clippers. <laughs> but look at the massive beard you can grow. It's great. That's it's just only, migrating like, south, man. South. It's actually going down my back too. Oh, it's great. <laughs> it's awesome. You got the reserves back there <laughs> just in case you ever need a transplant. Well, I'm thinking as soon as you know hair plugs really start to you know get pinpoint. They can just take it all back. By that time, it might be lower back. So, have you? I I was actually just before I came here, I saw this little commercial on Facebook for you guys. Ever heard of that micro pigmentation for balding? Yep. What uh, you as a professional hairstylist? What do you think about that? Is that ridiculous or is it like yeah, does it make somebody feel better? Well, it only works to a certain degree. Mm -hmm. Like, well, yeah, it's just basically like tattooing. It's It's basically like a tattoo on your scalp. So, like, say you wanted to continue shaving your head. You would just tattoo on a hairline, so it would look mm-hmm. like you're shaving hair yeah. oh off. God. But if somebody was thinning and they wanted to keep having their hair, the the micro pigmentation would kind of add some pigment at the scalp, so the hair wouldn't. You know, they'd do it the same color as the hair, so mm-hmm. it wouldn't look as thin. So yeah, it's something like how women are getting their eyebrows tattooed on now, and they just give her a quick. Every morning, fuck away you go. Yeah. That's, <laughs> well, like, you know, I, there's so many of these things now. I'm like, why? Why, why, why are you just age gracefully? <laughs> so, how long have you been cutting hair for? 
Uh, this past summer, it was 25 years. 25 wow. years. Shit. And how long have you been at, uh, you work at Modern Men. That's right. The best place in town. Uh, how Victoria long have you been there? Avenue East. What's yes. the address there? 425. 425. 425. Well, right. you guys For all us, know uh, where Red Wing Shoes are. Yeah, right, yes. right, right beside the Red Wing Yeah, Red in that little store. strip mall there. Yeah, yeah so <laughs> it's a men's salon is what it is. But I'm a barber, and the owner was nice enough to um, renovate a section at the back of the shop for me to rent. So I kind of do my own thing. And so what What are all the um, services you offer as a uh, you're because you're a classically trained barber is from what i'm told that's right you learned from an old school guy from back in ontario i remember you telling um, me one time yeah that's kind of like a few stories jumbled into oh, okay yeah. well we got to you, you know what why, why don't we save her for the uh the end yeah we'll, we'll dig in yeah let's get to the yes the sad stuff first. okay so yeah we kind of wanted to <laughs> first blood this hard hitting is, topic is sounding like it's going to be good <laughs> and let's let's end it on a good note i like that that's a good idea okay so, so coming jasmine soft, finish off i know you're a big fan of music My favorite. and mm -hmm. you love your vinyl i do yeah. and i saw you made a post the other day about something that was really interesting to me i don't know about you guys but there's this thing going on between neil young and joe rogan i'm sure you guys have heard of this yes yeah okay now since you made the post, I'm wondering, was that kind of like you like Neil Young, you're supporting his view, or are you kind of like, it's a ridiculous argument to have? Like, how do you feel about this whole thing? Because just, just a little preamble, Neil Young is taking his music off of Spotify because he's saying Joe Rogan is sp sp uh, spreading misleading information about COVID, and he made a big stink about it, and I think he's now officially taking his stuff off of Spotify. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm a little bit neutral on on the topic mm -hmm. I, like a lot of things i can see the both sides okay uh the one thing i know for sure is that i've never listened to joe rogan's podcast no never I'm, i probably wouldn't even recognize him if he how about right uh, up to me. have you ever listened to the rec room podcast <laughs> a couple times yeah. yeah she listened to one being taped You're <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you guys are the only podcast I've ever watched. Really? Oh, oh wow. wow. That's an accolade, right? <laughs> Bring it up. <laughs> wow. We got Told one. we getting famous, boys. Top fan. <laughs> top um, fan. We're going to give her a top fan badge damn on the right. Facebook page. We'll give her one of the t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> 2025. Yeah. So here's my thing. is I've never listened to a Joe Rogan podcast, but I own a few Neil Young albums on vinyl. Mm -hmm. Well, Neil Young. I mean, everybody likes something from Neil Young. He's great. Right? Yeah. So I think what people don't understand is that, like, I don't think artists make a great deal of money from streaming services. So it's mm -hmm. not... I know. think I was his biggest money maker was Spotify. I would imagine, like, because Joe Rogan got signed to, when he got signed, because he used to be on YouTube and then they brought him over to, I think it was like 100 mil, at least, yeah. like maybe 150. Chase, do you want to just look that up, what uh, that deal was? Yeah, I mean... But I don't know how much Neil's so making off of it. My understanding is that the artist doesn't take away a great deal of money. It's not their best way to make money. Okay. And it's not up to him. He can't just say, take my music off of Spotify. He has to go to his um, production company, which I think is Warner. And they have to negotiate the contract with Spotify. Mm -hmm. Because the contract isn't with Neil Young. It's with his... Wait, wait, it's production Does company. Neil yeah. Young have all the rights to his music? Do you know? That is a good question as well. Because, yeah, I think it would definitely depend because some of them have, like, you know, the, the clause at the end that says, look, yeah, I have some, final say over what goes. Yeah, some I know, uh, record production companies will say, what you know, no, no, be, 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 be. Words are hard. Yeah, negotiate that in the contract. Mm -hmm. And then you'll have to... I don't know if you get a, a, a smaller amount from the record label when you say, I want to keep the rights to my music or what, who knows what. I know when a lot of people who end up getting bigger over time end up buying the rights to their music back. Well, didn't Taylor Swift just do something kind of like that? She re-recorded all her I tried to stuff avoid there was any a lot of, knowledge Yeah, I'm not a fan of, of her. Swift I'm just whatsoever. saying it, it fits what we're talking about. But Anyway, so Joe, yeah, Joe Rogan had a $100 million exclusive deal with spotify so that's wow. a pretty good money making scheme he's doing now like i said i don't know what <laughs> neil's getting paid you know what would have solved all this what's that just covid being done no no just leave napster up 
<laughs> fucking Metallica I, screwed that dude, up. Dude, I would love if Napster was still up. And then you wouldn't have to listen to fucking six you goddamn run of advertisements scanning. between yeah. three different songs you're listening to. Because Spotify, I swear to God, they make it like... Because I listen to it at work. You know, I like Spotify. It's free music. But I swear they ramp up the advertisements so you'll pay for premium. The wife pays for premium. Because I used to get, you know, and I still hey, don't use it. Listen to this ad and, and, and then you'll get 30 minutes of uninterrupted music. I haven't heard that been said for fucking six months because, and it seems like more ads in between. I downloaded everything. Spotify and that's, that is the exact thing I heard after the first thing that I listened to. They're mm -hmm. like, listen to this ad and get 30 minutes of free uninterrupted music. Yeah. And then like three songs played and they're like, ah, just fucking. Yeah. Kidding. Fuck you. You're not counting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like Are you actually watching the time? Fuck you. Yeah, but um, but what do you what do you guys think about like even if you support even if you're a fan of both of the people, do you feel putting that kind of you know uh, ultimatum out to people is really productive? Like I get you might disagree with him, but we've talked about this lots. Whatever happened to just stop listening to you know like there's nothing wrong with Neil Young saying I think Joe Rogan's spreading misinformation. I wouldn't listen to him. I think people should know. You know, put your posts out there. Do that. But to give this ultimatum, is that kind of, you know, the I'm taking my ball and going home thing? That's uh, how I kind of feel about it. Neil Young has always been a pretty opinionated guy <laughs> mm -hmm. and very firm in his own beliefs. I mean, I don't know the whole backstory myself, but I think I, it's not shocking to me that he would do something like that. Mm -hmm. he, he's a very, he's, he's kind of like a Steve Earle. He's like very... Knows what he likes, and that's it. Hmm. He doesn't care about what other people have to say about it either. Fair. I know that he he's a Canadian, isn't he? Neil, yes, he is. Neil Young. Mm -hmm. or, yeah. And then uh, uh, what else did he... He had a few incidents, like a kind of a bad luck spell. I heard uh, during those forest fires in BC a couple of years ago, his house burned down, and he lost a lot of uh, unrecorded music. Yeah, the, or yeah. Uh, not uh, released music that mm -hmm. was already recorded on tapes and everything like that. So yeah, I don't know. Should have put it on Spotify. <laughs> yeah, the guy. <laughs> yeah. The guy obviously doesn't really care about money as much as the next guy. Like, no, I'm sure he's doing. Why don't you search up Neil Young's net worth? Yeah, so the know. guy. The guy's made it. Like, oh yeah, he's he's not gonna go poor off of this. Decision. No. Well, no, and I I think the idea probably was to get some other people to maybe. To join him. Well, I do know. I can't remember who it was. It was a famous friend of his, a, a lady like Joni Mitchell. Joni Mitchell. That's. I was gonna say Stevie Ray Vaughan, but yeah, Joni Mitchell. Did she actually do it as well? Do you know? Yeah, her music's been pulled as well. Okay, and she was with. Like, is she just a solo artist, or was she part of a band for a while? She. I don't I know only, her that well. I only know about her solo solo music. Okay. I don't know about anything else, but um, I did see a headline that Spotify did take a. What two billion dollar hit in the last few days? Mm -hmm. Wow! Look at uh, Neil Young's net worth. Yeah, two hundred mil. The guy's gonna dollars. be okay. Yeah. yeah, he's he's not going broke. Over but, it. I mean, this all goes back to conversations we've had before about cancel culture and how mm -hmm. it's just it's you know you can have an opinion and leave it at that. You know, yeah. The people who are gonna listen to Joe Rogan are gonna find a way to listen to him. And they don't give a shit. They they will figure out their own opinion whether it's. True or not true. Mm -hmm. Whatever he's saying, you know, he could come out tomorrow and say fucking mermaids exist. Are you going to believe that? Yeah. You might, you might not. Same thing with the, the vaccine stuff, all that, you know, the COVID misinformation, information, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. People are going to form their own opinion and they're there to, to listen to a show. Yes. It, we, we just need to back off on Bold. trying, <laughs> trying to cancel absolutely everything that somebody's not going to agree with. So, well, well, okay, so I, before we did the show here, because I wanted to talk about this, I did a little bit of investigating, kind of find out Joe Rogan had two guests, and they were both doctors, and one guy is a cardiologist, and he is the most published cardiologist in history. Uh, the other lady, I can't remember. She was an MR, MNRA vaccine developer. Yes, she was a vaccine person, yes, right. And, and apparently both doctors, both very credible people, got a lot of credentials to back up. And they, I didn't listen to the podcast, I don't know exactly what they said, but they had differing opinions on how to deal with the pandemic, very different from the kind of public perception. And one of the things he was saying was, uh, back, you know, when this all started, 
people were saying, oh, even if you get the vaccine, you can still get it and you can still infect people. And when people said that, they were taken off. They were they were canceled. And then six months later, it's fact. Yeah. Uh, back when cloth masks, they were saying cloth masks don't work. They would get, you know, your your post would get taken down or you get flagged or whatever. Yeah. Six months later, it's fact. He just said, I don't know. Like, I'm not a doctor. I let these people share their opinions. I don't know if he, he grilled them on it or not. Like I said, I didn't listen to the actual show. But he said, I want them to be able to share their opinions, especially when they're very learned people about this particular subject, you know? Yeah. And I don't see anything wrong with that stance. You know, you, he's had fucking Alex Jones on who tells you oh, that yeah. frogs are gay and, you know, he's a, a, aliens are turning people away. liberal and stuff. Like, it's... That's yeah. one thing I like about Joe Rogan is he's open to everybody's opinion. Yeah, he's, he's, he's not... willing to at least let you share your opinion, which yeah. I kind of admire about the guy. And there's yeah. not enough of that out there. So Neil Young doing this kind of rubs me the wrong way. If but... I smoked him out of pot as However, Joe Rogan... Yeah, sorry. <clears throat> his only thing was uh, he didn't want to be associated with the same platform. That's yeah. fair. Yeah, And, and you so, know what? That goes back to... Take your ball and go home then. Mm -hmm. If that's your your outlook on it, that you're that butthurt that somebody has a program that offends you so terribly bad, absolutely leave. Mm -hmm. Leave. You that's that is your your option. A hundred percent. Well exactly. Um, so if you're looking at it that way, he literally just said either you take Joe Rogan off or take me off. And they chose, and he was like, okay, see ya, never. Yep. And yeah, but, but isn't that more, like, if, like you said, I could understand him not wanting to be associated with a platform he doesn't agree with their program. But wouldn't that be just like, look, I'm, I'm going to go. Please take my music down. Not the, take this guy off or take me giving off. Giving the ultimatum That's the one is like that doesn't walking really up to well your boss and saying, look, you do it my way or I'm out of here. Exactly. And your boss is going to go, well, yeah, go fuck yourself. Fucking see you later. Yeah. Take her easy, bud. Like they're, they're providing him a platform to make money off of. Mm -hmm. He doesn't run the show. He doesn't pull the fucking strings. No. And so I'm sure for him Neil to, Young isn't on their top of their list. I mean, he's a great, yeah. he's a Hall of Famer guy, but I'm sure he's not the top listening platform, or, you know, on well, Spotify right this moment. Especially, you know, this day and age, you... You don't have that crowd listening on Spotify to mm. him. Mm -hmm. you know? and yeah, they're listening to the really Island Boys and shit. <laughs> 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 Which, don't get me wrong, if Neo kicks the shit out of the Island Boys. I'm not saying the they're Island better Boys than The Island Boys just fucking uh, put out a advertisement for the U.S. Army. The Army what? is so desperate for people that they got them... <laughs> Are you fucking serious? I fucking shit you. You gotta show me this. We might not I, have What does the commercial say? Like, join the army and your kids won't turn out like this. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Team up, Team up with, with the, the army. army to promote. Yeah, yeah. I gotta go turn it in. I'm just th well, let me guess. They're saying, I'm an army buddy. No, no. They're like, <laughs> they're talking about this recruiter and how he's, you know, so good at his job and everybody should join the army and you know this recruiter is uh, you know an honorary island boy now and all this shit it's <laughs> like uh, these kids need to be put in afghanistan just for like give them two weeks they need to be made two into weeks. iud's <laughs> <laughs> IEDs, whatever. I IUDs. No, yeah. I'm sticking with IUD. It should have been an IUD. They should have gotten caught in that net before they ever got here. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm just saying that worked well. Oh uh, yeah, that was that good. Worked, one. That, but you fell ass backwards onto that. Yeah, a little dyslexia I mean. worked out. Yeah. It's it's getting to the point where it's like you know it like we've talked about this a bunch of times, and I don't know how you feel about Jasmine, but it just seems to me that it, the way culture's gone nowadays, especially with cancel culture, it's not enough that i disagree with you if we have a disagreement we can talk about something and I was just be just thinking the same thing i right? totally know we can you're still be friends this. but like, it's have i have opinion. to destroy your opinion for mine to be that's valid. right and that's what i'm really oh. not in love with right now mm -hmm. and i feel myself like drawing further and further away from social media and even friends that have really like strong opinions mm -hmm. because i know we can't have a conversation yep. yeah like, like we cannot have a debate we can't have a conversation and then just let it be yeah i've felt that more and more lately with it's... social media that it's just becoming such a dark tainted fucking place and mm -hmm. i want to remove myself from everything it's, it's becoming a big but, thing of division well but oh, the yeah. big thing is is all social media platforms have their claws in you so deep you you, you want to go sign up for something hey sign up with your facebook account otherwise mm -hmm. tough shit 
Yeah, or, link them all together. Right? Or, you know, you have all your family on these social media platforms. You want to see how they're doing. You want to be able to chat with them freely, you know. And then you fall into a rabbit hole. Exactly. And just... The next thing you know, you're on TikTok till fucking two in the morning <laughs> watching stupid cat videos and some asshole trying to blow himself up. Like, it, it's social media has gotten so deep into this shit. <laughs> Do you guys remember that old episode of The Simpsons where... I can't remember what was going on, but there was, like, um, some monster marketing thing happening, and this guy came in and wrote a jingle, and Lisa was singing. Oh, the just monorail. Don't, just don't look. No, it oh, was, no? like, um, I can't really remember, like, the the donut boy that holds up the big donut. Lard like, lad donuts. <laughs> and, and the whole thing was, like, with stuff like that, like, just don't look. Like, just look away, and mm -hmm. it, it'll lose its that, momentum. That yeah. and well, it's yeah. been... Do you guys remember all, this episode? I, I know. I don't remember the episode, but I know what you're saying. And it's it's also like we were talking about Dave Chappelle, you know, how he got in a lot of hot water. If you, if you have a problem with what the guy's saying, why are you watching a show? Why are you going through everything that he's produced just to complain? Yeah. Like, if, yeah. if you don't Why like would you it listen and you don't to agree with show it, just to be mad at it and then I mean. delete people. But that's that's <laughs> literally what people do now. They just sit there going, oh, I can't wait till this guy says something I can be like, you're a piece of shit. Cancel culture. You know? It is, yeah. man. It's ridiculous. It's like our last episode when we are talking about being offended and stuff like that. Wow, well, yeah. It's pretty much the exact same thing. People are so brave, though, when they're just, like, typing something on their phone or on their keyboard. Like, they'll say things that they'd never say to your oh, face. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the things that people say to each other online, on social platforms, like, it's shocking. I've felt myself into that trap. <laughs> oh, I've been going But I also so know that I can back up what I say, so. <laughs> well, and that's the thing. You know. I don't think I've ever said something online that I wouldn't say to somebody in, to their face. I went for, Generally, I mean, I went I, for I a good remember. stretch there what I, where I would just go online just to argue with people. Because people are just stupid about mm -hmm. some shit so you're doing and it now, for the sport yeah. more, <laughs> you're more. a troll essentially yeah Trolling it, it got to that i point. love that it's referred to as a sport yeah. <laughs> well, it, got to that point. Awesome. it started off as like your opinion's fucking stupid mine's better and then i it became a game and now we we went over this i think pasco was right along with me where it's like you type out like a three paragraph fucking essay telling the person just exactly how stupid they are with all the information to back it up and now at this day and age, you just delete the whole fucking thing and go, you know what? It's not even worth it. It's not, man. Because whoever, whoever, who have you ever been in the, the comment section with having an argument and then they just suddenly stop and go, you know what? You're right. You make exactly. a good point. No, they'll just be like, fuck you, gay boy, you know, or something like that. I was like, called a racist online the other day. Uh, well, that's, that's the trump card for some, everything. You're somebody, either racist or some kind of phobic, you know, it, homophobic. It was, it was something thing. about the, the mercury and shit. how the cook was racist and all this stuff. And I said, I simply said, this is hearsay. This is mm -hmm. slanderous hearsay. And this other guy jumps in and he's like, well, you're just a racist. I'm yeah. like, actually, <laughs> I don't care what skin tone oh, you have. Actually. I'll help you out if you need to be helped out. Yeah. And then he kind of backpedaled a little. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you know what? If this was your experience, I'm sorry to hear it. There's a lot of that bullshit that goes on, especially in this city. It's a lot of... Oh, it, yeah. it's, it's fucking... The, the, the cancel culture thing is everybody's it, like... As soon as you don't agree with them, they're going to label you as something or try and put you down. But mm -hmm. the worst thing is, is a lot of people don't know that in Canada, you can be charged for online yeah. shit like that, like harassment and slander. Mm -hmm. They don't understand that. Now, down in the States, I don't know, but <laughs> that's just the fucking Wild West. Wow, well, yeah. But even with, like, we were talking about how there are people, like, kind of unfriending people because they differ in views. <clears throat> One of the big things I've seen lately is the trucker convoy. I've mm. seen people posting, oh, I just deleted 20 friends today because I found out they're a bunch of, you know, commie fucking assholes or liberal bitches. Like, yeah. and you're that's like, a, that's a, why? Per, that's a pretty wild, I, I, I'm totally interested in it, mm -hmm. but I'm so tired from trying to like keep up with it. Yeah. And I'm brain tired I'm from actually trying to keep up with it. I'm invested in the whole storyline of it because that's what this is. It's a, another... Do you remember in 2019 when they had the trucking rally, the exact same fucking thing for the carbon tax? Yeah, the oil where, and gas. And where sector. all the trucks flew on down there and nothing fucking changed. Yeah. That's exactly what's going to happen now because Trudeau is cowering, coward 19. I in, didn't even hear about that. 
Yeah, like the trucker convoy? No, in 2019. Jeez. In 2019. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When, yeah. when he was so presenting to, the carbon tax. Yeah, they went to, to protest the carbon tax. I, but exact same thing. So, so yeah, it was a big convoy that went to so this is, oil and gas well, workers. Well, that's how effective that was. I didn't even <laughs> yeah. hear about it. Yeah. So this is... That's why they by, had to do it again. By definition, <laughs> insanity. We're doing it again. Mm-hmm. But this time, the only difference is, is you're paying the fucking carbon tax on the fuel and have 10 times as many fucking trucks. Mm-hmm. I get the... I get what they're trying to do. They're not anti-vax. They're pro-choice. My body, my choice, basically. Mm-hmm. You know, this is the same thing women have been saying for the past hundred years. But Which is a it, very valid argument. It, yeah, it is. At, at the end of the day, I'm sure there's a lot of guys going, well, oh, fuck, maybe we got it wrong the first time. But really, at the end of the day, this whole trucker thing is just, it's comical to watch. Like I said, I understand the movement. I get it. I'm. I see both sides very clearly. I feel fucking bad for the people in Ottawa that have to wake up every day and they're like, <laughs> "Do you really need to go buy toilet paper?" But fuck, <laughs> maybe I'll just use newspaper today because I'm yeah. not driving through that well, shit. Do newspapers gonna, even still exist? Yeah. Well, the cats in the bathroom. Wasn't me there off. even like a little bit of a mini convoy through Regina on Saturday yeah. night? Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, I wouldn't say yeah, it was local. a mini one. I went to. I yeah. went to go check it out the legislature. Yeah. There was well over a thousand trucks. Wow. Jesus and Christ. There wow. was thousands of people at the wow. legislative building. Thousands. That's impressive. I just drove down Albert Street. I was going to Leo's to get burgers after work and <laughs> I saw a few trucks, but I maybe I was before or after the main event. I don't know. So what happened in Regina is it started uh, there was probably like fifteen, twenty trucks that rolled through and then all of a sudden there was no trucks. And everybody's like I don't understand what's happening, what's going on. And then later on to learn that there was protesters at the south end of Alver Street blocking Alver Street for the truck. Oh, I was just going to ask you, were there any like anti people out that? there? Uh, probably, I don't know the exact time, probably Ish. like, uh, I would say 1130 maybe ish. Like in spinning. the morning. An oh, influx of fucking okay. protests lately. Like, yeah. it is just, it's the new fad. It really yeah, is. Then, so Tide they, Pods? No, no, no. They Let's shut down protest. the entire Wascana Park for all traffic. And they were going to have all the trucks in Wascana Park. All, all over the place. And there was a protesting group at the south end of Albert Street that stopped. And then the police were actually trying to get the protesters to move. To get them out of the air, actually asking people to help get the protesters out of the way. And then the trucks started coming through again. By by that time, the trucks started rolling through again. There was already speeches and stuff being happening in front of yeah. the legislative building. And then the police already blocked off the trucks from coming into the park. Wow. Hmm. That's crazy. That's Well, I think we can all agree that, you know, it'd be nice if we lived in a world where people are allowed to have differing views and they didn't have to hate each other. Right? Well, that's kind of my view on it. So. It'd be nice to see, but as as we are right now, it's we're. It seems like you're, you know, they call them teams or sides because you're meant to go after the opposition. My dick's bigger. Fuck you. All right. Okay. Well, on that note, <laughs> we'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. We're ready. We're back. All right. We're, we're back. back. We're live. All, All right. right. Our sponsors. Uh, we still don't have any. So. Yeah. Uh, Modern Men, if you want to sponsor us, oh, that'd be uh, great out there. <laughs> All right, and well, uh, maybe Bandit's Moonshine. Yes, yes, oh, we can which uh, Jasmine brought for us. I didn't have any because I don't drink anymore. I usually either drink non-alcoholic beer, but she brought me some maple flavored Coca Cola, which How was, was it? delicious. Actually, yeah. was it good? Yeah, it was, was really it too good. sweet, right? No, it was actually a really, it was a very nice, delicate flavor of maple. Good. Mm-hmm. And she brought this delicious maple flavored moonshine, Bandit's Moonshine. And you said you're you're a big fan of this distillery. Well, I've tried just about all of their moonshine, um, every flavor. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know, they got like six or eight flavors and they do gin and vodka and they're in Weyburn of all okay. places. And um, I mean, honestly, I like bourbon more than anything, but, okay. uh, and I like the Knob Creek maple bourbon, but it's on back order everywhere and like nobody can get it uh and you drink straight eh? you don't mix don't with fuck any? around no no i don't fuck don't around, fuck around. <laughs> don't fuck is maple your favorite no 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 just a once in a while thing but what i 
I went to a thing, um, like a hair show uh, in Saskatoon a couple years ago at Lucky Bastard Distillery, mm -hmm. and they made me a Caesar, and then she went and spritzed this thing on top of my drink, and then I tried it, and I was like, Jesus, fuck, why is that so good? And she goes, it's this bacon bitters. It's incredible. So, um, so I'd be worried if somebody came up and just was like, so how long am I going to be awake for? <laughs> it was the bartender. That doesn't make it any better. Not always 100% safe. <laughs> I've seen some so shady bartenders. Where, is, uh, where are these uh, bandit moonshine guys from? Weyburn. said Weyburn. Oh, they're Weyburn. Yeah. yeah. So All where is their distillery in Weyburn? Well, I don't know that. Oh, okay. I I just like just their... Wondering if they use the old ethanol plant and just fired the bitch up. <laughs> <laughs> Converted down. Well, that I don't know. But uh, but they have all these different flavors. And, um, and what I was... What happened was... I tried the Knob Creek maple bourbon, and then I had this uh, bacon bitters in Saskatoon, and I was like, maple bacon bourbon. Yeah, that could be a thing. So let's see that spritzer thing there. Oh, this? Yeah. Let's take a look at that. See, Just give a shot in your mouth there, Chase. <laughs> Just give a straight shot of the bacon. Can you, can you bacon it? mist. Too much light? Too, Too much. much? No, it's coming in good now. We're good. Yeah. You could have paused it there people backtrack and pause yeah and now figure it out that tough shit you, so, yeah. you do um you also do for cutting hair you do the classic hot towel shaves that's and right you use straight blade of course i do yeah oh, she wow. does i can verify Bur she does that's straight kind of, blades have you guys ever gone to jasmine I've no, never. I, I can you, I can't, this is the most facial hair I can yeah, but grow. She cuts this mustache, top stuff too. But. Josh has come for haircuts. Yeah. yeah okay. Chase well, is the haircut. only one that hasn't been. I haven't been. Yeah. I, well, he's not what? coming for a haircut. That's for sure. This I just bushman it, and I used to go only because it was downtown. Uh, used to be ragged ass barbers. I don't even know what the hell they're called now. Oh, they're Culture Groom Lounge now. Culture Groom Lounge. That sounds. Are they still less just cool. for men? No, yeah, that sounds way less cool than what. Because didn't they get into yeah. a bunch of trouble years ago? Because they were like an, a men's only shop, and then they had was a bunch that of ragged ass barbers. I'm pretty was. sure. Was it? Yeah, because they yeah. were the men's only place, and then a bunch of ladies got really. It's sexist. You can't. No, do that. it was one lady. Oh one well, lady. generally that's how it starts. It <laughs> was one lady, and she wanted a men's haircut. Yeah. Well, oh. she wanted a crew cut, right? Or something like that. Like something that was typically sure. done. Like by... she wanted a men's haircut yeah. and she wanted a hard part. And so what happened to them didn't hurt them at all. Like, I think that boosted their it reputation more than absolutely did. did. Good. They weren't doing anything wrong. No. You know. So here's the thing. And what I say, like when ladies ask me, do you also cut ladies hair? I always say, I could try. <laughs> Just which, undercut their confidence right away. Which, so they're like, no, which one I'm good. You know what? And, and that's, like, a, mm. that's a great approach. That is. Me. You know what? So what's I your... Could. But listen, if a, if a female wanted a men's haircut, 100%, yeah. I'd give what it to her. What if she wanted if to shave? Not, I mean, sure. I've seen a few that need them. So have you basically <laughs> sure. just stuck to men's cuts your entire career? Or did you just, like, is it just no. more something you're interested in doing? <laughs> See, there was a number of years where barbering went kind of extinct in North America because of rules imposed on us. Um, like, in the early 90s, people were really afraid of bloodborne diseases like AIDS uh, and yeah. herpes. Yep. And so the straight effort, razor would be kind of a concern? <laughs> I mean, it shouldn't be, but at the time they were just trying to minimize risk. Okay. Yeah. And so they figured barbers, you know, touch multiple clients with the same tool. Most barbers are really conscientious about sanitizing their tools mm. and, and it can be done. Uh, and maybe there were some that weren't doing it correctly. I don't know, but it was a combination of things. It was that, and uh, and and we were no longer allowed to just carry a barber license. Like anybody new going into school, were required to take the full cosmetology course. Oh wow! And becoming um, what's considered an essential service and. A, an actual trade, it was required that barbers would challenge the journeyman exam 
and carry a certain package of credentials. So people who were before, they wouldn't get grandfathered into it? No. So, 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 is, so it, is it like a trade? Like it is, you, it is, you, it is, it is very much yep. a trade. Yep. It is really? a trade. Yep. Yeah, you can I did a journeyman not know that. Yep. You betcha. It is that a trade. Is wild. Yeah, it is. However, we don't enjoy some of the same benefits as other tradesmen do. Um, just because we collect our income directly from our clients. Well, right. Like having a journeyman certificate or an interprovincial certificate or a RIT seal certificate doesn't doesn't make it so you can just like ask for a raise because we essentially collect our income directly from the so customer how, how it works out uh, as far as i am aware is that a lot of what happens is there's one salon and then the salon doesn't employ doesn't employ the hairstylist or whoever directly you basically rent a chair and then you go and then you co then you have to give them a certain percentage or some of each. Okay. Like okay. some salons employ their staff. Okay. Um, it's pretty rare in in Canada that a salon would offer a stylist a wage. Um, it's usually a commission. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. So places like Ultra Cuts or mm, whatever. No, that's they... something different. Oh, Ultra okay. Cuts um, and any of those very large chains. Yeah. They are different. They do offer a wage and they do offer benefits. Okay. 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 Um, however, they all kind of employ anyone. And it's typically a good place <laughs> for beginner people yeah. to start. Um, it's really hard in our industry to get um, like an established clientele because people care about the way they look. And, mm -hmm. and <sighs> trust and word of mouth is everything. So... So a place like Ultra Cuts is great for a beginner stylist who hasn't necessarily honed their craft. And that's the other thing that's different about us and other trades is when we go to school, we learn very basic information. And just because you study doesn't mean you can physically do the job. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's in the first few years of your actual career, uh, your apprenticeship, where you should learn how to actually do the job and a lot of times you got to take it upon yourself to do that it's true um most salon owners are not in a position where they're making a great deal of money so the owner is working mm -hmm. like cutting hair and doesn't have a lot of time to train their new staff so it does happen where new staff are kind of just thrown into the game and have to kind of figure it out but it's kind of the only way to do it. Like, yeah, well, you so kind of got to learn by doing. Until you do it, you can't do it. Like, you yeah. just have to. A lot of times, you just got to make it up as you go. Then, yeah. and then, what? What are some? But the thing is, if if a guy, one of you guys, just think about it. If if you're gonna spend forty dollars on a haircut, you have a level of expectation. Mm -hmm. So, when you go to a salon or a barber shop where the price tag is forty dollars you expect mm. something. Um, so if you go to a place like Ultra Cats or Tommy Guns or whatever, where the price tag is maybe 15 or $27, your expectation is lower. Mm -hmm. And you're probably a different kind of person that's like, you giggling about I just want a haircut. Oh, all I can think of is we took my son to get his haircut. Mm -hmm. and bless her heart, she was such a nice woman. She kept him entertained the whole time. But she fucked his hair right up. <laughs> like, we uh, we paid the whatever it was, 15, 16 bucks. And yeah, thanks a lot. We got home and I bust out the clippers. I'm like, all right, let's fucking shore this up a bit. <laughs> like, and he's got ducktail sticking out everywhere. I'm like, holy fuck, what so, happened? So, there you go. Where'd you go? I, I don't even know. I, I think it was an Ultra Cuts. It, it's up in the north end. Okay. Um, and how old's your son at the time? Three. Oh, see? Yeah. So, this is what I always say about cutting children's hair. If you guys can imagine, um, you're signing an important document and they tell you, sign on the line. Don't, don't sign below the line or above the line, sign on the line. But then somebody 
oh, yanks yeah. the page around while you're trying to write. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it's like trying yeah. to get and, a child's and, and hair. I can believe it. Like he sits pretty good. You know, we give him a phone with fucking Paw Patrol or Blippy or whatever yeah, but the even fuck. Even the slightest movement. But yeah, and, like, and that's the worst part is you know his first haircut. He sat fucking stone still and it looked great. This one, he was like, he's watching. All of a sudden, he fucking does one of these. It's like, ooh. I heard a sound. Yeah. Is there still fucking hair there? You don't have a guard on that motherfucker. Yeah, watch yeah. your eyes. You know what would be funny if you're really mad at him? Give him like a video with a bunch of jump scares in it. Yeah. <laughs> While he's getting his head. Holy crap. It's, <laughs> it's funny because what was it? Last summer? Last summer or the summer before? I, I would just, I'd do his hair at home. Like, I would knock it all off. Right down. Classic buzz cut. So his hair was long from the winter, like not long, long, but it was longer. Mm -hmm. And I gave him the monk cut, the bowl, just cut. just on top, and left her. <laughs> so basically, he looked like basically the smallest eighty year old man. In kind the of world. treating your kid as a dog in a haircut sense. <laughs> <laughs> it's like long you, in the winter, if you're short not in the do summer. It to your own kids, what, what's the point? Yeah. <laughs> Why else did he have them? I do it to myself. Like if this ever comes off. You know how many different little styles I do? I get the big dirty trucker chops and yeah, well, every good. time every time a guy has actually shaved his beard, you have to shave it in stages, right? First Absolutely. you like oh, you shave course. it into like, you know, the 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 big mutton chops, you know, yeah. maybe the biker you the have biker to wreck must, the beard. Like, you have to keep you going. Have to wreck it. You well, you have to check bar. and be like, what what would I look like? Because you're like, I'm shaving it off anyway. I'm, I'm not going to have so to what's be the, uh, on the soul patch. I rocked a soul patch for a very long time. I, had one and for I am going, very ashamed I am going to get this <laughs> out there right now. Anybody who has ever had a mustache and has to shave it off, we all do that one fucking iconic mustache. <laughs> the Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> that, yeah, let's go with that. The Charlie Chaplin. That. That's the, that's the okay. politically right that, way to say it. That is the end game of going baby face. You have to do, you a, you have to do a snap the, of doing something baby offensive. Face. This, oh. oh, fuck. When you had the baby face, we did the, the RIP tier. Oh, man. Uh, did you ever watch that video? Uh, it's gone now. No wonder I had to shave my uh, goatee off Actually, for, uh, still, yeah. for work. I didn't see it. Oh, oh man. <laughs> I hate it. Well, Jasmine it's knows. Pain, it's a painful story. I know. I've heard it many times. Guys, you know, they go to work at the refinery or whatever, and they go out to Yara and Moose Jaw, and they're yeah. like, oh, yeah. my beard. Well, you I, you remember, I was working at the hospital for a while, and they just, they didn't have a rule. You had to be clean shaven, but you couldn't have facial hair outside the mask. Yeah. So I had to shave all this off, and I left the goatee, because I didn't want to shave it all off. But it's a goatee. Yeah. I, I really didn't love Which it. It hasn't been cool since. Well, that's what I mean, 90s, right? So right? I, I figured, well, I'll rock it until I'm done. And we got done. And then I actually had a haircut with her. And she's like, are you doing the full meal deal today? And I said, actually, not the beard trim because this is still very short. <laughs> this is still long. It looks ridiculous. And But I'm like, you know, I'll just go home. And, sh and she's like, I'm not letting you leave here just going home and she shaving it all. She did that to me, on. too. So I mean, she just gave me a nice trim, blended it. It looks so much better. You know, her and her I, man. Uh, and so. There's a way to blend it. There's a there, way to yeah, blend it. So you were right. I was I was the still, ignorant man. I just thought, my, uh, I'd go home and whack it all one, one my, my last size. size you know, you did, my, you did, you did my, my last haircut, I... This is when I first grew my mustache, and it was kind of long like it is now. Just not. It was just way more patchy now. Yeah. Like the, you look like a firefighter now. You've <laughs> gone past cop. To he looks like a retired and then, uh, cop. <laughs> and then Jasmine's like, "I'm going to trim your mustache." I'm like, "No, my mustache is just, is good." She's like, "No, I'm going to trim your mustache." And I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> that, see, and, and it was better, right? Yeah. I wasn't eating it as much, and which was really nice. <laughs> ever well, since, sometimes every now and then you just got it like you were, mine's getting a little bit. Every now and then I will. Yeah, it was even between you haircuts. Gonna, you were talking about mustache. And yeah. I was going to tell you between haircuts, like, I mean, I know you're not going to come and see me every week. Like, if you need to trim your mustache, I know it looks stupid, but when you're in the mirror and you're like, you have your little scissors or your clipper or whatever, if you go like this, mm -hmm. make like a little kissy face. <laughs> Doing duck face. I like and that then, you looked at me when you did that too. <laughs> well, because <laughs> you, you got some strains there, bud. Yeah, I got it. And that's, that's that is Ned I, Flanders' I, ass. I've only gone to. <laughs> I've only gone to a barber twice, and it was when it was ragged ass. I've only gone twice. So oh. all of this is just me hack jobbing it. Like, my mustache gets really long, and I do that. I follow my lip line. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't get them out there, but... No, I know. just do the whole But then it's like... But you here's do with the all thing. these fucking long bastards oh, that are way out so there. The, the, but and, that's for me to worry this. about. Yeah. 
That's that's yeah. not for I'm you. I'm pretty to sure Jasmine's eyes has been oh. twitching, staring at you well, and beard for and the like worst, the whole length of the podcast. The worst <laughs> is the sideburns. When they get too long, I'm like, well, I'll just throw on a guard and just start from here and just. Mm-hmm. And it's like, well, they're trimmed up now, so <laughs> they don't look terrible, but, okay. but they look terrible. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Ooh. Jasmine's okay. looking at it going, fucking just cut it all off. That's start, razor no, no, no. start from there. scratch. No, I would never say that. <laughs> I would never say that. But it's it is kind of weird that you haven't been in the shop yet. Like with this all bush. these guys have been to see me like so many times. Mm-hmm. And I've got this. Like I need you. Uh, you could definitely some get some streamlining on that bad boy, and it would still it would still be quite so the beard. Put the, some highlights. A lot of a lot of people are being wondering at home, a lot of the guys at home. The best remedy for mask beard. Oh um, fuck it! I get that so bad. Just a comb. Work. It's yeah. a huge or a problem. Brush. Right? It's a huge problem. I know. I was actually just talking with somebody in the fall. She was gonna sew some beards or mask beards for me. Mm-hmm. Um, kind yeah, of I've long. seen those. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Well, um, she also does all the alterations for the Rough Riders, so mm. she got super busy, and uh, then it was yeah. Christmas, and yep. anyways, we just put a pin in it. Now I don't know, like. Do we know like how long we're going to be wearing masks? Well, probably for the rest of our lives. They keep moving that finish line. But it's coming closer now. They have said that, but I mean, it came closer fucking two years ago. Yeah, they always we dangle like, a really? carrot and then a dick carrot. You guys remember that week we got to leave them at home? Yeah, I had a wedding. I was, I loved it. I got married. I was, I was so like, fucking happy. We hit the perfect fucking window for you that guys wedding. Yeah, that because is it when was your like, wedding was. Mm-hmm. We, it was like, oh my God. you guys get three weeks. That reminds me. What's that? Didn't I see that you got engaged? I did get engaged. Oh. Yay! You yes. poor fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Being married's great. Talking about beard styles. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah, no, we're we're gonna do something. I think Chase's wedding. That was. I think that's kind of like. I think every do, wedding uh, I've ever gone to that was very similar to that. Just go out, get a camping space. Yeah. Out in nature, it's like we just rented a whole. It's just so much better. Would you trust us to make you a commercial? (laughs) (laughs) To make me a commercial. Can can we we make you an advertisement? Can we? Can we be the models for like a calendar for you? Well, I know. (laughs) I know. Jasmine always does the before and afters a lot of times. We could definitely get all three of us in there and do a before and after. There's four of us. Well, and Mike has been in the shop long. Yeah, too. Mike too. Yeah, I know. I'm like pointing at where. Yeah, he, he was going to come in, but the big, big the Mike. weather kind of kept him. Oh, he was no. big. Mike kind of got so sorry he safe. couldn't make it, but it is. We pretty understand. Nasty it's pretty there. gross out there. I wouldn't chance it just for a podcast. So when you yeah. have to deal with a rat nest like this, <laughs> I does, love it. Where does that price point go? Like, does it nowhere? Fucking go? No, no, no. no. In fact, the I'm longer like it is and the less bucks. you've been fucking with it, the better I can do with it. Mm-hmm. So just come in full bush, man, and just go fix it. Just mm-hmm. help me. Now, how yeah. many how many guys have came to you and asked, like, how to grow facial hair? Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> He's asking for a friend. <laughs> yeah, for a friend here. Yeah. <laughs> See, I, I honestly think that we don't need much more. We can keep rolling on this fucking right to the end of this. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this yeah. is great. So... Yeah. I know it's a problem, and but here's the thing: for some of us, like I said <laughs> before, <laughs> we on. before we start rolling, Chase was like, "Oh, my hair," but I was like, "Look at your beard," and you're like, "Oh, I have no beard," but look at your hair; you look got a beautiful head of hair, fox, mother. right? Yeah, it's like, yeah, boys, this is uh, <laughs> just kidding. I got head hair like a son. This is whiter than Crest Toothpaste. <laughs> this, this is, still got a good uh, hairline, though. You are due for a haircut. I am due so, for a haircut. I actually so, got to go out of town for work tomorrow for a while, so I so I see, want to come back. I see all the time all <laughs> these products that you know help growth for beards and more. Is there any weight behind any of these things, mm. in your opinion? I don't know about the beard hair. Um, there are some products that can help stimulate growth on your head. Um, I've tried Rogaine. It didn't fucking work. <laughs> but, I mean, there's so many contributing factors to why a man can lose his hair. Why anybody can lose their hair. But men and women, like, the main reason for hair loss is stress. Um, that explains a lot. <laughs> you do have kids. Yeah. <laughs> and there's genetics. genetics got that, yeah. got that for, I'm fucked on all fronts right now. <laughs> Um, what about those dermal rollers that people always talk about on? Oh, those like razor things. Yeah, My God. I was gonna say when you were talking earlier, I was starting to get ready to say I don't know how I feel about that. 
Um, some people say they have success with it, but I mean, there's a really good chance for infection. Like it's basically like scratching your face up, right? Mm. Like, well, yeah, it's like tiny little razors and they say it opens your, your, your follicles and it's like, well, yeah, it opens your skin. Yeah. <laughs> like Maybe. It literally cuts you. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm kind of on the fence. I'm a little bit like, I don't know. I, I I'm a I pretty do. natural person and I'm just like, you have what you have, work with what you have. Mm. And if you have great hair, get a good haircut, grow your mustache. Yeah, this is all I can grow. For you. This is the worst, like... <laughs> if you're losing your hair and you have a great beard, go with it. Rock the beard. Like, go on. Don't... So what's the, uh, one of the most popular haircuts nowadays for the age groups? Let's say, like, um, the younger guys, like 20s, well, 20 to 30. I'm very pleased that the mullet is making a comeback. Is it making a pretty you're good a mullet, comeback? You're a mullet supporter, are you? I am, yeah. Okay. That but, is fantastic. But I like the new version of it. Like, it doesn't look as stupid as it used to. <laughs> what is the new version of the mullet? Uh, it's just, it's shaped a little different and... But I it's love got a little it. more body to it. It's not just green. <laughs> I don't know, man. You seen those eighty mullets? They got a lot of body. I like those. Not only a mullet, mullets. but you had it feathered and shit. Well, is guys, it like? Is there, lot, is there lots of kids getting mullets now? Still, yeah, again? I was gonna say you guys had Nathan Paul on here a few episodes ago, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And uh, he brought his kid to me like last week. Does the kid have a mullet? And we gave him a little. <laughs> we gave him a dirty little mullet. That's awesome. And a little lightning bolt on mullet, the side. Geez. Is there any haircut? you find so appalling you would not agree to do it like if say somebody you said i want like rat tails or those shitty beads or whatever yeah like the island boys well the island boys oh god if so that. yeah say somebody came in there would you just be like get the fuck out of my show <laughs> so is this <laughs> this is the 2022 mullets okay that's kind of like a faux hawk mullet <laughs> yeah sort of yeah yeah that guy's got some strong lines right there the 22 easy mullet hairstyle <laughs> there are 22 different types <laughs> I love how Miley Cyrus is on one of those. 50 cool <laughs> mullet hairstyles for men. Cool mullet hairstyles for fuck's sake. Let's oh, look wow. at that. That's why not. So the mullet's making that much of a comeback. Like I remember when I was a kid, I had a wild mullet going but on. But we're slow to the party. Like in Europe, it's it's like over. Oh, really? <laughs> what about uh, like 30 to 40? Just a regular crew oh, cut? Andre Agassi. <laughs> that's, that's a I mullet, that, man. You know, I'm happy to say that men are kind of getting over the bald fade that really overstayed its welcome i got really tired of doing the same haircut on every guy where it was like shaved to the skin disconnected long on top slick back like mm -hmm. i mean it was fine it was fine when it started but it it just it way overstayed its welcome mm -hmm. wait so i'm glad the, uh, to see that men braided, are braided what about rat tails hard part that's, that's are hard part still a thing what what is a hard part? Is that the like one where really it's like shaved in? The part in? Uh, okay. Oh shit! I mean, yeah, I did I've, I've never done that. I think that's kind of on its way out too. I yeah. did it once. Yeah, yeah. I the the one thing I ever did that was kind of a ridiculous fad is I once got my tips dyed when I was like eighteen. <laughs> was it like about two thousand and? Yeah, it would have been like 2002-ish. Yeah. yeah. And I got it done once. Oh, and it, it looked pretty bad, but it wasn't horrible. And then the next time, it looked like she just took a bowl and dyed the top. And I was like, okay, I'm done with this shit. <laughs> Did she take out a piece of foil and like rub it on the top of your head? No, the first, the first lady, it was like a fucking rubber cap with a bunch of holes oh. in it. And she took a hook. Oh, and just, yeah. I know. And so you got it was a bunch, like really then, defined. Like, yeah. And so you, and it was like that leopard hair. spotted hair. Mm, yeah. And the other one, I, I don't think she did that. I can't I can't really remember. All I remember is that like it looked okay like the first day and then the next day it was like like and it wasn't even good dye, it was that yellow brassy <laughs> and it was just the straight top of my head was brass colored and I was like, oh, nope, no, no, I made a mistake. Old, orange is the almighty sun. Give it to me. <laughs> yeah, my my exactly. favorite one ever. So my aunt when she was still alive, she was a hairdresser. Mm -hmm. And I was like fucking young kid. I'm like, fuck, do whatever you want. Like, I've had bleach blonde. I've had the frosted tips. Um, my cousin, actually, for one of my brother's hockey tournaments, I'm like, shave it off. And I want it dyed the teen colors, which was like red, black, and white. But I'm like, do a camo pattern. Okay. But the best one, I went to my aunt, and I'm like, give me a mohawk. Just do whatever you want with it. She's like, okay, let's do a mohawk. Let's dye it blonde. And do red tips on it. I'm like, fuck, oh. let's let's fucking go. <laughs> so we did it. Guessing it came out pink. No. No? Not off the bat. <laughs> I, also, went... 
I it also got pink. a job on the highway that year, and I was out in the sun. <laughs> and she and bleached it real hard. Pink and orange. <laughs> is there much dyeing going on anymore for men's cuts, or is it um, just like for natural color coming back? So, again, like I said, I'm more of a barber than a hairstylist. Yeah. Uh, I did do hairdressing, like salon work, for a number of years when barbering was a little bit slow. Mm. Um, so I have knowledge of that part of the job. I just don't do much of it anymore because now I mostly do haircutting and shaving, mm. beard trimming, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, I think that... If I'm going to color a man's hair, it's mostly because he wants something natural looking to cover his gray oh, okay. hair a little bit. Like, mm -hmm. not like not to look like a Lego head, yeah. but, like, mm -hmm. just I, I know that, um, a little less gray. I know that, like, gray hair is a huge thing right now. Is it every time, like, everywhere I go, everybody's like, do you dye your hair? I'm like, no. Yeah. And then every time, like, before I was coming to see you, I would go to you know just random places and all the hairdressers like you know lots of people pay big money to have their hair the same color as yours mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i was just like why <laughs> that's it's like true but, that's but. like in my beard fuck it's not going gray just straight white hairs just show up i'm like nope. yeah depending on uh, depending on what you eat that day i guess yeah. <laughs> A lot like of how much how much there. how much food do you actually find in your beard when you shower? Oh, day? I just had rice today for supper. <laughs> that fuck, that's the worst. You have to go in there with a comb, and it's like, yeah, fuck. <laughs> at least three CSI, meals, like yeah. a lice comb, and you're like, am I coming? No, Pretty it's just much. that's just rice. So like, we agree that Chase needs to come and see me this week. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, I need to make yeah. this happen because this is. Send beer. If that happens, are, definitely send us those before and afters. Jasmine's looking at it like a cat. She's like, I'm gonna <laughs> fucking, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit it. Beards are like quite, it. quite holding strong in styles lately. I think too. They are, and I hate the question. Uh, when do you think this beard trend's gonna be over? It's not. It's no, not because it's not a trend. No. I think that the clean shave was the trend. Mm. Historically, men have worn beards, mm -hmm. and it's the one thing men can do that women can't do. Yeah. It's like a mane for a lion. You know, yeah, once it comes in full, it's just once you hit a certain age, it's kind of really like this is what Oh, you going. found. Is that you? <laughs> That's me. Okay, what? <laughs> you gotta put that up to the camera. Isn't yeah. that just like. This is what the, Chase looks like with a mohawk. The worst fucking. And the. the dirty fucking hey man can i buy a gram off you that that's, that that's exactly what it looked like i wouldn't that's gonna be stuffed with fentanyl if i look at I that like, haircut i was like 18 this all i could grow was here everything yeah. else was patched so i'm like that's cool i'm just gonna do the line down and just a little bit here oh, yeah. i'm gonna have but look how it came along it and fell then, off the top of your head onto your chin uh, and, and on your back it's a beautiful Chest thing back yes fuck all right until i'm 80 and then, all right, well, we're coming to the end of this segment. I think we're going to go more into terrible hairstyles, and, and we're going to throw a few questions at Jasmine, and, we and we're going to talk about the old giveaway uh, that giveaway Jasmine's... coming up, too. Yeah, that's, so we will be back after a word from our sponsors. That's so bad. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> And we're back. And we are back for the final uh, the final segment of the 14th episode. Okay, so we're kind of talking about shitty hairstyles in this. And Josh... And, uh, before you go off covers. on that, we didn't get our intro for the podcast. Our intro? Yeah. Our, your, your funny little intro saying. Hey, yeah, I did. You got the joke in. Oh, I got the joke. Oh, you did. About making t-shirts, man. Come on. Okay, well, we'll, re we'll restart this segment. Yeah, Josh <laughs> Josh is apparently getting into the yeah. senile part of this the years. This is gray hair seeping gray. into my brain. <laughs> Josh is the only one not drinking. There. Oh, yeah. How is that? <laughs> what the, the heck? <laughs> the only guy that doesn't know what's going on is the only one not drinking. Anyway. Yeah. Okay, so we looked up upcoming trends in hairstyles. What the fuck just happened? Uh, I don't know. You're the you're the computer guy. I clicked on something. Okay, but uh, you said you said the mullet's kind of making a comeback, and you're a supporter of the mullet. Huge. Uh, what about stuff like this? That, I mean, is well, no. Go back up to the the, well, the David mullets. Bowie type those, of things. Those are mullets. Yeah, I know they're mullets, but like, is there, like, because if you scroll up to the top ones, there, there's some of those that don't look too bad. Like that one right there on the the far well, left. Those, those aren't. That's those barely aren't, even a mullet. That, that, these aren't mullets. These okay. Are just, well, no, that one at the back there is a mullet. a mullet. That is a fucking mullet. So these. I'm just saying, there's obviously a time where a mullet is not a good idea. 
It's are, true. Are you a bit like that one with the guy with the the blonde and pink and the super shaved side? Like that. What's wrong with blonde and pink? That's hey, bold, bro. Are you bro. in charge of googling things? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Google modern mullet. Modern. The modern mullet. I think I'm okay. going to bring back the old like part down the middle, like Jonathan Taylor Thomas style. And You're like, oh, yeah. Like all the high school kids are already doing it. Oh, are they doing it? It's almost over. So, like, is is this more of what you're talking about? Exactly. Yeah, see, that's not so bad. Like, right? Whoa, that. Like, there's there's some flow. That guy in the second row, far to the right, that's pretty intense. That's like that's Billy Ray Cyrus on yeah. meth. That's, no, no, that's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> like, that that's the uh, third row, second one in. You got the guy with the leopard spots on the side there. That's a little, that's a little much. But yeah, okay. some of those aren't bad. Um, see, wait, go, uh, top left, second down. The blonde guy with the beard. Yeah. Yeah, next to her. That's yeah. what we're talking about. Yeah, see, that's not bad. That's so, good, so right? A little more see, I never would have considered that a moment, though. Kind of feathered in a little bit. Well, it's it not is, like because there's cut. a length on the back, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, that doesn't look too bad. That's not horrible. That's just, that doesn't, when I hear the it's word mullet. It's better than not horrible. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> it works until it doesn't. Yeah, there's there's no hard cut separation between long and yeah. short. <laughs> well, yeah, it's 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 blended. I guess you would you would call it. Yeah, see that guy with the the beard there, top row. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But are so there? That, that's acceptable. Uh, one, two, three, four, five to the right. Two from the left, with the big spacer in his ear. Oh, the guy with the stretched ears, second row. That's a good haircut. Right Over. There. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, that's right. not bad. All right. So okay, that's, so that's, okay. that's, that's what that's, we're talking about. So you're not you're not against the mullet. Are <laughs> yeah. there certain hairstyles that you're you're like I don't care who it is, how pretty you are, how well it's done, the it, buzz it's cuts just coming fucking back? ugly. Well, that applies to any haircut on any person at any given time. People <laughs> ask for the wrong haircut all the time. It can look bad on the. <laughs> Have you ever refused a hair certain style of haircut to somebody? All the time. So really, what about this? The bro if I'm flow? attaching my label well that's not bad to a haircut i'm not gonna give somebody something they shouldn't have that's fair okay so what what would make some somebody comes in ask you for something what's a jasmine no-go like what i'm sorry i just i can't do it well it's not specific like that it's just like if it's not going to suit you i'm not going to give it to you okay well what was the last one you just said no this is you tried to talk them into something else because you knew it just wouldn't work on them hmm You know, a lot of guys are still wanting to jump on a trend that's on its way out. Like, you know, the really shaved sides and the long top. Mm -hmm. That doesn't work for every guy. It didn't ever. Mm -hmm. And especially now that that trend is kind of over. Mm -hmm. I will definitely talk a guy out of that if he's wanting to get on it. And his hair doesn't work with it. Mm -hmm. And But that's why, you know, that's why you go to somebody like me is because you're trusting me to help you look your best yeah you're the professional right just because you looked at something in magazine or you saw it online or whatever and you're like i like that well when i look at your hair and i look at your face and i look at your overall general style if it doesn't suit you i i will try my best to i'm pretty sure i have like the most in- bland boring haircuts ever like I'm like basically a military cut, like short yeah, and a little bit I'm on top. Nothing fancy. <laughs> yeah, but like we were talking, you've got the whole silver fox thing going, so it doesn't yeah. even matter. Like you can just have your <laughs> so, simple haircut and it works. So let me ask, did you ever have to deal with the whole hockey trend where guys were getting perms? <laughs> yes. <Ooh>. And <laughs> that, so that was in the beginning of my career. Yeah. And it's back. It's back. The perm is back. No, I actually did hear that it's back. A perm mullet. Oh and oh, the wow. mullet, the permed mullet and the permed crop. So it's and, just saying but, the natural curls are coming back. Yeah. But what's happening is the wrong people are asking for it. And again, I don't do it. And I also don't do perms. So, <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. I have the luxury of just saying, oh, here's a name and number of a friend of mine who does perms and... Way you go. Mm-hmm. So, Perfect. The hold perm. Not my problem. So, so are you seeing hairstyles come and go in in waves? Like the seventies are coming back, the eighties are coming back. Like yeah, haven't you noticed? Like, like ladies' jeans are back with like a flare on the well, the, ankle? the bell bottoms. Yeah, those always come around though. They were bell bottoms, then there were flares when I was so what, a kid. And now they're back. What again. era what do are they call we them now? jumping into right now? 
Are we well, in, are we in well, the eighties? I mean, well, no, I remember the, the flare. The flare I started think, off. I think that the shag is kind of Bach too, like a the variation shag? of the shag. Are you so talking I about the haircut? Yeah, I think okay. we're kind of living a revival of the late seventies, right? Yeah. That well, was fashion the one is it always is right the one on the 2020 up and coming list. Yeah. The shag. That's one you really like. I would agree with you. Really got to have a certain style for that to work. That's not this, just going to work. Otherwise, this one's going to be creepy if it comes back. Yeah. But, well, like, that's not terrible, though. I thought about haircut, doing that. Uh, like, side parts, like, slick. But, guys, here's what I want to say about barbering versus hairstyling and why I like barbering. I don't necessarily focus on what's trendy. Mm-hmm. When a man comes to visit me, I look at his face, I look at what he's wearing, we talk a little bit about what he does and what he likes, and I just give him a nice haircut that's going to work. Mm-hmm. So uh, I'm not really a very trendy person myself, and I don't, you know, they say birds of a flat feather, and like... What's, I, uh, how much, how much of your job is actually hairstyling, or barbering, or however you call it, and how much a percentage of it is being a psychiatrist? <laughs> <laughs> I think that would also depend on the client. I'm it? sure you've heard some shit. <laughs> you know what? It's a privilege. It's, it's a deep privilege. Like people, men trust me. Like they talk to me, and it's not just about their appearance. Like you know, when when you sit with somebody for thirty, forty, sixty minutes every two, three, four weeks. We spend more time together than some of you guys spend with your friends. Mm-hmm. I see my clients more regularly right. than I see my friends. Yeah. So it is 100% a trust thing. And I definitely hear all personal things. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and all joking aside, it's a huge... I feel very lucky. Mm-hmm. Like... I know everybody jokes about how like guys unload on their bartender or their barber, but all joking aside, I love having that privilege. So you're you're the kind of barber who would prefer somebody who talks, like oh, chats Jackie. with you, because you, you know to. they're well. No, I know, but I'm just saying. You know how there's some people like they prefer if somebody just stays quiet. It's all business. You just stay still. You I, like every time I've gone to you, we we chat while you're Shoot doing it and this and that. And I've always kind of enjoyed that about you. And it just seems like that would be how you're with with everybody not just with people who are kind of your friends like you would just be you know how's your day going da 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 and just keep it going i really believe that i'm i'm a humble servant i serve my clients so Mm -hmm. whatever you want if if it's your lunch break and you want 45 minutes to relax we don't have to talk Mm -hmm. and if it's five o'clock and you've had a long day and you want to talk you can talk i'll listen and so, I, I just I just try to be in tune with what people want and well since you're here actually I'm going through a thing right now. I'm just <laughs> so I, I, I do have to ask this have you ever had somebody come in and was like I lost a bet and end up having to get something like that <laughs> yeah what do you think about that have you ever okay, had I, lost I bets I haven't actually had to do a monkey tail on anyone <laughs> That's oh, that's what it's called. The that's is that the monkey, monkey tail? That's no, not, the monkey tail. I mean, starts that's from like a, the asshole or something. Yeah, but or, no, but you the know the monkey tail thing going around. I do. Yeah, it starts yeah. off with a mustache and then goes I know, down your beard and around. shit. Yeah. I had one guy joke about it, but we were like, "Nah, let's not do it." <laughs> no. <laughs> but yes, you. I've definitely had guys lose bats where they're gonna shave their hair, shave their beard. They gotta oh, have like a silly mustache, whatever. That's awesome. For sure. Mm-hmm. So. And any guy, like I said, going back to work, like, you know, at a job, like at the refinery or ER or something, and if they got to shave their beard off, it's a sad moment. So we try to lighten it up and we I think, I wreck think, the beard, uh, we shave it off in stupid yeah. stages and we take pictures. And I think there's something that's not very talked about is like when you got to shave the beard off or if you got to <laughs> shave the mustache off. That is. It's like, so bad, man. It's, it's, something that you, it's something that you shouldn't like it's like we're men we don't we don't whatever it'll grow back it's like but it's it's gone now. you you put a lot of time like i haven't shaved this off or really <laughs> trimmed it since my wedding mm-hmm. i i stayed pretty clean up to the wedding you know i had a little the five o'clock shadow going on and after that it was like nope i'm done but i did work for an oil company for a while <laughs> and i remember having to shave everything off 
and you had to be clean shaved every day in the event that you had a, you had to throw a mask mm, on a CBA or something. So if you showed up in the morning and you weren't deemed clean shaven enough, you had to go to the parts counter and get the ten cent single oh, blade yeah. Bic razor yep. and dry <laughs> in the truck. I've had to do on that. On the way, I've to had site. to do that a couple times. You're bleeding fucking everywhere at that point. Yeah. I You're literally talking ingrown hairs are coming. In, in my work bag, I carry a couple extra like good razors, good razors. just in case. Smart idea. That is <laughs> like, I have sat in the crane on the way to job sites, and it's like, oh, this is a gas. This is like a gas plant battery. Oh, okay, great. So I'm sitting there in the crane on the side of the highway. You know, shaving off my whatever I have. My <laughs> so bad. Yeah, like, and then like sitting in the mirror, and trucks are driving by, and and like the, know, the worst just, part is they couldn't even buy like a double blade. It's just that one single doesn't even shave, just pulls everything out. Like your face is on fire by the end. You're like, yeah. I'm only gonna do this once. There is a trick to shaving with a single blade. Is there? Yeah, I have a Don't. really good sharp blade. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't do it. Just get one track. of them big like, ones. There's a little shop. skin prep that needs to happen before a single blade yeah. shave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, this is like. But it's a sad I'm story, no. and I've been, I've heard this story a lot, <laughs> and, I mean, it's sad for me too. Like I'm a beard bully. I think if you can grow a beard, you should have one. Mm -hmm. Beard I bully. Like it. I love <laughs> and, uh, that. She's a beard advocate. <laughs> advocating for bearded men everywhere and i've had lots of bearded men you know they're starting a new job and they're like i gotta take my beard off so you know we try to make it fun but play I'm some always sarah mclaughlin crying. in the background <laughs> so the last time i had to knock this off i remember i remember sitting I got there where you're going with that i remember sitting there with my clippers and it's like you go to do it and you stop and you're like fuck like it's like you're preparing for a prostate exam. Mm -hmm. You're like, fuck, I don't want to do this. Mm -hmm. You go to put it up again and you take it away. And it's like a five minute process. Just and to then finally you're yourself. like, I just I, I need to do one. I just need to do one and then it's done and I have to do it. One, two, three, go. Okay. Uh. Band-aids off. <laughs> Band-aids off. Yeah. We're there. And now it has to And be then done. it turns into a mission. And it's like what do I do with all this hair in the sink? Like, oh, I don't want to put it down the sink because that's going to plug it's up. It's like there's a dead dog sitting <laughs> you in the always, sink. You okay. always pull the plug, put it in there, and then you sweep up the main, and you so, throw it off into the garbage can, then just rinse down the little stragglers. So the personal turmoil aside, just practical advice, when you do have to trim or shave and you have a lot of hair and it's going in the sink, just um, take a towel and tuck it in your shirt and... Uh, lay it across the sink Ooh. See, so a couple years ago i actually got one of those bibs that you, you tie yeah, around the 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 cups. Cups. Yeah. Get the old beard kind of like, wanted one of those i'm looking at that and i'm going is this a suggestion for me to shave my fucking beard off because i'm not gonna do it <laughs> it sat in my closet until you know, i mean i was but shaving my beard to. and i forgot about it that's actually a really no. good point. but if you ever have to the towel here across the sink I trim do your trimming that. whatever because i shave Take straight into the sink yeah, yeah. I, like I said, if I ever have to actually, I'm just gonna coat I just straight, it. but I always put the plug in, and then, like I said, I, I leave it dry, you know, water, and you just give her this sweep. I don't know Either why. that goes in the shitter or the garbage can. I, I don't know why I've never thought is. of this. It, it should be like using a, a pan in the oven. Just put some mm -hmm. tinfoil in the fucking sink. Right? <laughs> 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 fucking crumple it up after. Fuck away you go. Now, um, so much time. You've wasted. also, for the how long you've been doing this for, you also have been able to. Uh, sample a lot of products and stuff over time mm -hmm. and some of the stuff that you sell is pretty awesome mm -hmm. like that crown shaving it's true um that aftershave is awesome yeah it's what true. are some of, what are the some of the ones you would recommend because you've, you've that got you, tons that, of lotions or the and stuff potions. that you sell anyways yeah like what what would you say for for beards what what are like essential beard products that every good man should have well i'll tell you my favorites uh, there's lots of good products but my favorites, and part of the reason they're my favorites is because they play nice together. Like, mm -hmm. you know, the skin care, the beard care, the hair, you know, like the fragrances and the way everything smells and works together, it works, right? Like, um, you could have any number of great products, but myself, what I love is the um, BBA, British Barbers Association, Um and you, you sell all the stuff at the salon. I do, yeah. That's perfect. 
I, I do, and I've actually been working with them for a number of years. Actually, before COVID happened, I was supposed to be training to work as a educator for them in oh, North wow. America. Okay. Um, of course, nobody's traveling and everything's on hold, so that's fine. It'll come back when it comes back. But mm -hmm. in the meantime, yeah, the products are in the shop, and I use them, and I stand by them. Um uh, they have a aftershave lotion that's infused with something called dragon's blood, which sounds stupid, but it's a real thing. It's I been mean, uh, or awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's been <laughs> used. Just cover yourselves in dragon's blood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just spray it on me. Well, Sounds like a, natural, a fucking Viking warrior. You know? <laughs> it's a natural resin, like a tree sap, mm -hmm. um, which has been used for centuries as a natural topical treatment for cuts and burns. Okay. So they've put it in their aftershave, which only makes sense. Yeah, which, smart. Absolutely. And literally, if you have any burning, you know, it just puts it out. Um, the only one problem with that product, and it's not really a problem, you just have to know about it, is that it does have like a tint of kind of like a brownish red to it. So mm. if you're shaving with your clothes on, you just need a towel in your shirt and need to wash your face oh, okay. off. Um, otherwise, you're probably using it in the shower or whatever, and it's no problem. And they have a beautiful uh, post-everything moisturizer that's got something in it called irish sea moss which is a natural collagen hmm. so which, i was gonna ask about that because i get some wick and it's always in the same spot every time i grow a beard right here just itchier than hell and i usually just go straight to coconut oil and why? rub it in and cool. moisturize the skin and try and get the itch away but it's like a dry spot that just it, it's the exact why same coconut spot. oil why is everybody obsessed know. with coconut oil? i have no Somebody idea mentioned I, have, it I literally like, use zero products on my skin the only bad thing about it was in the winter you go out and you're like oh yeah it's got a nice sheen to it and then all of a sudden you're frozen and your beard's like a rock oh that's fucking great well i can't say for sure having never actually looked up close at your beard but chances are you have a section of your beard that grows in a different pattern. Oh, okay. Kind of so, like the crown on your head type of thing? Right. <laughs> okay. Exactly. That makes sense because it's like right here and here the transition is like it's fucking weird. Mm -hmm. it, yeah. It's just like one side ends up being longer when it's growing out and it's like, oh, fucking. Mm -hmm. Everything totally. flows this way until like this point. <laughs> so when you were shaving your face, did you ever notice that that section of your face would be very irritated post-shave? I couldn't tell through the tears. <laughs> <laughs> I, you answer. know what? I've, I've never really paid attention to it, to be completely honest. But the other thing that I've noticed, and the wife, because she plays with my beard every once in a while, and all of a sudden she's like, there's like a stick Foster. in here. She's like, there's a stick in your beard. And it's a hair that has like 15 fucking hairs coming out of one little hole. I pulled one out. I shit you not. It looked like a toothpick. It was so thick. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is going on with this? Have you seen shit like that? Yeah, it happens. Does like, it? you'll have one pore that'll grow, like, an, an immense number of hairs. And honestly, when somebody's in my chair and I notice something like that, I'll remove it for him because it's going to be a problem in and the it's future. Funny because I always tell her now, I'm like, is there any sticks in there? And she'll like sticks. she'll poke around and <laughs> she'll she'll find one that's a little bit thicker and and the weirdest part is is the ones that are actually really thick pull out easily. You hardly can tell that. Well but she's like there's one and she yanks it. I'm like, no that's not fuck like who <laughs> crying. <laughs> Okay, just a minute though. Don't just be pulling random hairs out of your beard. Oh, that can lead to terrible scenarios. <laughs> well, okay. Somebody just sent me a video the other day of a man having his beard waxed. And I'm going to tell you why I oh. almost threw up in my mouth. I can't watch it. I can't that watch it. It makes me sick. So bad. Waxed. Yeah, right? they do like scalp waxes and face waxes now. Ugh. It's the worst thing I've ever seen, and it should never happen. Because the thing is, with your beard, it's not like the hair on your head I, I or the hair grow on your a beard, body. So you're looking at the wrong person. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. But yeah. it's not like grow. the hair on your head, Josh. No. It's never there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Even though you don't grow a thick beard, you grow facial hair. You yeah. have hair on your face. You all do. And the thing about it is, the hair on your face grows differently than the hair on your head or the rest of your body. So. You know, as we were talking about microblading and everything and and hair transplant, yep. like hair grows, you know, 
in a direction yep. on your head, on your body. The thing about the hair on your beard is that below the surface, it's like a spider web. Like the, the roots of your beard are like webby. And they grow in different directions. And if you pull one hair, you're disturbing an entire network of hairs. Really? And you're asking. You're just fucking begging for ingrown hairs. Really? Yeah. So I had actually another thing. The one that fuck, I must have been about eight years ago. I was a little bit shorter than your, your beard. Mm -hmm. But out of nowhere, right down here, a bald spot like that. Yeah, I get just that went, right here. Everything went baby Little. smooth. And it's all grown back now, but I have no idea. I'm like, why? I've, 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 I've had, had that, that a couple right of times. under time. my chin here, but these are scars from hockey. Yeah, yeah no, like there's that. no scarring, no but nothing. That's strange what you're like, talking you about because right it's not a star. A scar, <laughs> it wasn't an injury. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> it was just randomly all of a sudden there was a bald patch. So there is a thing. Back. There is a thing called alopecia, which mm -hmm. is like intermittent hair loss. Weird. And it usually presents itself in coin size round and that would have been yeah. about the size and exactly yeah nobody really understands why that happens it's generally linked to stress but <laughs> can, can you think at the time that there was something super was there any stress in your life at this the is time, the psychiatrist Chase. side talking to you uh, actually yeah i yeah, think we're gonna that, that i think we're gonna call you the beard psychiatrist the beard whisperer <laughs> the oh. beard whisperer <laughs> we're gonna have a live session where people can call in and be yeah. like my beard's fucked and i'm stressed <laughs> <laughs> what do i do yeah. but that that's interesting i, I but generally speaking like the beard grows in a bunch of different directions yeah. and waxing or pulling hairs out of the beard or out of your face is always a bad idea that, that so should never painful. happen like, it's painful so and so bad it just, it just shouldn't happen i'm probably the only man on earth that goes through the, like the most fewest cans of shaving cream ever I am incorrect <laughs> i go through no cans of shaving <laughs> cream <laughs> i have guys that i have I, I I don't know about any of this because I have the body type of a fucking seal. Yeah, it's like neck down, uh, nothing. nothing. I can't. I have no back hair. No. Like, look at your arms. He's very yeah, hairy. Like, like, yeah, I know. Like, that's, look at that. Guy's like, meant for even me, and I don't yeah. have a hairy arm. Yeah, I'm <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> like, looks so, like a giant twelve year old boy. <laughs> so, have you ever seen any kind of like just absolutely botched jobs by people that you've worked with, like? Yeah, Accident. yeah. What's we don't need names. Yeah, just you don't got to sell anybody out. But just like, what's the worst fuck up you've been in the room for? A, you saw a somebody like slip or oh my slip God. or. I've seen some fuck ups over the years. <laughs> <laughs> Call them out. Fucking start some here. <laughs> like I said, we don't fuck need this names. guy. <laughs> uh, I mean, everybody has their mistakes, you know, and usually it's a mistake in. Uh, verbal interpretation like you're asking for something i'm hearing you wrong we misinterpret each other but i have witnessed and it hasn't happened to me but i will say i've witnessed a couple of major fuck-ups over the years like i worked in a shop in brandon for a while and uh and she was super chatty she just like she wasn't there to cut hair she was just there to socialize she, yeah and she pulled out a pair of scissors, except I think she thought she was holding her thinning shears, and the client was like, blah, 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 and she was like, blah, 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 and then she went, clunk, like, at the scalp. No, what was no. The, and just Thinking instantly it was going knew. to be, like, the thinning shears, except oh, it was like, shit. clunk, So you got to know right away that you fucked So up. there's, like, hairs like this. Oh, no. Right at the top oh, of the guy's head like this. No. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> There's no coming back from that. Right, that so so that's that's like a, so we're changing the 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 style you're going for today. We're so that's like, shave it bald. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> a, you're not paying for this one. No, so oh, yeah, doing, that's a free haircut right there. There's well, no help after that. When you're doing the the straight uh, straight razor shaves, do you what does the hot towel do? Is it supposed to open your the pores hairs, up? Man. I don't yeah. know. I honestly don't know about any of this because I've never. Done oh it. right, because you have no face. No Some facial hair. Yeah, no. Too. Face. Is that right. what you just well, said? yeah, that's yeah. what I said. <laughs> We're getting it late under the night. It's the moonshine. Yeah. No, but that's what it does, right? It opens your pores, I've, raises I've, the hair. Yeah, I've never, makes it easier I've to never, shave. never looked into it or never been educated on how. It, so it's how it true. All works out. The steam towel, the hot towel, and I use big ones like they're bath sheets. Oh wow! Like mm -hmm. rolled. Oh yeah, up. she just mummifies you. So it 
covers your face and your head and everything and it's very relaxing so that's the first thing and um and the thing is i know you guys can trim your own beard and shave your own face you can't catch your own hair i know that like you, that's the thing that you need from me when you i own you <laughs> when you touch me for a shave it's a treat right yeah. you're treating yourself like i don't i don't presume to think that men can't trim their own beards and shave their own faces i know you can do that it's like a spa day so yeah. when i'm well, she just does it a lot you, better and I'm, it's like so a when manly I do it spa for you, yeah super it's a manly. treat right like you you're gonna enjoy it mm -hmm. so the towel is hot and heavy and steamy and what it means to do is the same function as after you get out the shower like normally you would take a shower and then you would shave mm -hmm. and the reason for that is because the heat from the shower would soften up your beard and open your pores. I have been doing it backwards oh. my entire life. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Really? I've never shaved after a shower. You shaved like, before? Yeah. yeah. See, Always. like, I, I usually yeah, will do crazy, my man. hair. I'll cut my hair. I'll trim up what I need to trim up, and then I hop in the shower because I'm like, there's a bunch of loose hair on me. That's exactly why I do it, too. Yeah, the so only yeah, time I'll shave beforehand is if I'm just trimming the beard with the, the trimmer, get it all, you know, shorter, so, and then I'll go. But if I'm actually, like, shaving, you know, tightening up this stuff and whatnot, I always do that after, so like going, she said. So going back to... And I'll even go even furthermore is when I'm done, I usually get a lot of irritation here. Those yeah. are my problem spots. So I'll take a hot towel after I'm done and put it on there I'll and then well and then take cold water and splash it on so just to kind of open the pores get a little bit of the because like i said and i've found it lessens the irritation so real quick going back to where you had that person cut the hair and there was you want to rate my at the time okay. seven year old we're just about at the end of the segment um, boys my seven year old at the times personal haircut that she gave herself Ooh. it was something like that <laughs> that's yeah. about it just yeah. like that yeah. <laughs> yeah she got scissors all right. Well, we bad. could keep going on, but uh, unfortunately, the time's we, running I think low. We have another episode. I want to thank. Well, we'll we'll make a promotional video for this. We're going to do a promotional video. Jasmine was kind enough to bring a fifty dollars gift certificate to Modern Men to for her professional styling uh, techniques. Can I? Put we're it? gonna we're gonna put a promotional <laughs> video out for that. But first, we want to thank you, Jasmine, for coming. This was a wonderful Thanks podcast. We had a great time. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, boys, Absolutely. I think I think we had a heck of a fun. We had some good moonshine, and we want to thank anybody for watching. Uh, hopefully, you guys are surviving the blizzard that's outside. And if anybody isn't sold yet, Jasmine's the best goddamn artist in town. You better hit up Modern Men. Modern Men, what's the address again? Four twenty-five Beck. There you go. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, we hope you enjoyed getting wrecked. And goodbye to Chase's back of his head. The whole Screw time. Chase. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I was invested.